something happened with this horse trailer. Uh, this here is supposed to support this big hatch that we have here. And while my wife lowered it, it just said spring and it cracked here. This one is supposed to go down like that. And you can see it started cracking here at the weld. So my plan is to weld this together and make some kind of support from here to here to make it stronger. And to do this, I had to get a plasma cutter, right? You really need a plasma cutter for this kind of work, working on your wife's horse trailer. So I got this. And uh, right now, this is the cheapest uh, plasma cutter on Amazon.se, but you know, that varies. So tomorrow another sh machine might be cheaper. It was $170, around 1,700 Swedish kroners, uh, and shipping was included. Um, there used to be this craze when uh, Lidl, which is actually a grocery store, they sold park side plasma cutters and they were also 40 amps like this one and I think they were like hundred and fifty dollars like 1,500 Swedish kroners and people got them and some even hoarded them and tried to sell them for more money than they got them uh, and I think they were even trying to get like 2,500 or something like that which is crazy and uh, I'm gonna check if they if they still try to sell those but for me I'd much rather buy a new machine, even though the interior is probably the same, I think this one looks better. Um, and uh, it has this cover here that protects uh, the air hose. And um, on this side you have ground, you have amps, and I think this is uh, just on, on this one here. And you can uh, adjust from min to max. And um, I really wanted a bigger one like 50 or 60 amp, but then the main fuse would be the limiting factor. So if I wanted to cut like a thicker metal, I would need a three-phase machine like this welder. And then price, you know, it just went up. So I thought, ah, okay, let's, let's try this one out and see what it can do. And this welder, I, I just borrowed from a friend of mine it's a really professional machine. It is a little bit more than $170, so I'm really happy I can just can borrow it from him. And uh, the, the, the gas bottle is uh, actually mine. Hmm. This is the original spring and it, 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 it broke in two pieces. And I had this other spring laying around and maybe you know this brand it's a it's a shock it's a shock absorber company uh, which is quite famous they do very good uh, products so it's probably the most expensive part on this whole trailer A really good thing about this machine is that you can set the thickness of the material. So in this case the steel that I'm welding is 2 millimeters. So I can just put it in 2 millimeters. If I have something bigger, I can just add up like 3 millimeters. Uh, and then it sets everything for you. Um, so I think that's... Uh, it's really easy to be a good welder with a good welder. This clamp is wow, really hard. Hmm. Hmm. 
It just have to be strong, it doesn't have to be perfect. This steel plate here is uh, maybe like three millimeters. So I want to cut out one piece here and one piece there, and then these will be the support. Well, let's uh, let's start this machine. And this is uh, this is the first time I started, so I hope it works. Ah, there's some sound. And uh, there is paint here, which is not optimum, but we'll see if it can make it work anyway. I've never used a plasma cutter before. Uh, set this. I don't know, 20. Sounds good, right? Ooh. Thing, huh? I'm just I'm trying to match my mouth here. Oh, now we're talking. So apparently the best setting is just like max maximum power and then um, cut it. Then it cuts real fast.
I accidentally welded this uh, some things here but uh, I think it will hold up now I did grind off here because I it was a bit sharp and this weld here looked like crap I'm just gonna put some paint on paint on this and then put that uh, put that spring back While that paint is drying, I am uh, I'm going to check uh, what this plasma cutter can do. Should be six bar of air pressure when cutting 12 millimeters. So here's 10 millimeters, and it didn't do very well. But then I realized I had air way low. So let's try again now with a little bit more air. It's now at uh, 6 bars of air and uh, 40 amps of uh, power and I have realized that it's, it's easier to pull this than to push it. Okay, let's go. is really stretching it it's a bit too much but you can do it but then I think it's better to use uh, an angle grinder let's try this one at full air and full power This aluminium is uh, five millimeters. Oh, so how did this um, plasma cutter do? It, it really, you really need to have the right air pressure. I, I tried this with um, 6 bar and 40 amps and it didn't work at all. But then I just lowered the pressure to, I think it was like 3 bars. And then it cut real good. And I tried again up here with lower air pressure and that worked. This 1 centimeter is, uh, yeah, I think it was. It, it, it's like no point. Uh, this three millimeter was really good so I'd say maybe five millimeter you can cut um, in a really good way and then it will struggle so then you'll have to go with a bigger one and maybe you need a three face now I have aluminium all over the place I managed to get it like it's really light now in the beginning 
and then it gets harder and harder. This is how it looks like with some paint on it. I also managed to get this through inspection. The hatch is now adjusted as good as it can be, but I really need to replace that a lean spring and a broken spring with the stock one to get it really right. I wasn't happy with this plasma cutter because it couldn't get through 10 millimeters. Looked like a bant that had chewed on it or something. And I need something more powerful, but Amazon is quite good. It's easy to return, so I will return this and uh, I will be getting another plasma cutter eventually. Today is Midsummer Eve and I wish you a glad midsommar. So thanks for watching and bye. My name is Darth Welder and I am here to punish you for grinding those wells.